Let me open this barbecue grill from the Savannah Library. Open it. Maximize the perspective viewport. Right click on the title of the viewport and notice that we have few different rendering modes or display modes. Select wireframe, right click, shaded mode, right click, render mode. I have shadows on in this mode. You see that? You see the shadows? Ghost it. You can see through it. X-ray. Technical. I like technical. You can see the hidden lines. Artistic. Very nice. Pen. So you can find all these modes if you right click the title of the viewport. Neon. This is a free plugin that you can download from our website. I will recommend it. For now, set it to shade it. Let me switch to the top viewport. Draw two curves. Any curves. Notice that they have some kind of thickness. And I am working in the wireframe mode. If I switch to shaded mode, notice that they almost disappear. Let me change the thickness, the lines in the shaded mode. So follow me. File, pull down menu, properties, under Rhino options. All the way down here, you will see View. Open the view, and you have your display modes, and there you find Shaded. By the way, all the ones that are blue, that means those modes have been changed. So since this is my computer, I did change them to make this class. Select Shaded and open its options and notice that under under objects you have curves. Here you can change the width of those curves. I'm going to set it to 3. Hit OK and now if I shed it I have my thick lines. If I go back to wireframe I have the same.
Delete those two curves. Switch to perspective. Draw a box. Explode it. Shade it. Right click, shade it. And delete one face. Notice that the color of the inside of the box is the same as the outside. Let me change that in shading mode. File, properties, shaded, right here, back face settings. Open single color for all the back faces. Let me set it to maybe this blue. Okay. Hit OK and now you know that the inside is blue and the outside is gray.